Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. Thanks for watching. This is a 125 and there are a lot of new fish in here. So let's check them out. This is a 125 gallon. Uh, you guys have seen this tank many times. But now I've got quite a few new and different fish in here uh, for different purposes. So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, first off, the 125, it's your very basic standard 125 gallon, six feet long. The plants are custom made from EliteCichlids.com. Uh, don't forget the promo code Adam C. And the background is the rocky background from Universal Rocks, very thin uh, with a lot of good detail. And the rocks are also from Universal. What is in here that you have seen before are the Lethronops Candy Island, one male, two female, and the Autopharynx Aro Marginatus Orange Cap. You can see the dominant male right there, top center. They breed quite often, at least so far they do. They've been a very productive group. But you can see I've got a lot of smaller fish in here in the two to three inch range. It's some new fish I'm trying to grow out in here. Uh, and I added them in this tank for a reason, and that is that the orange caps and the lethronops, the, the larger fish in this tank, are very, very passive and non-aggressive. So I was not concerned at all about adding some smaller fish in here to gain some size on them. Later in the video, we'll do a bit of a more of a close-up, and we will do a feeding. But the new fish that are in here is uh, I have added seven Nimbochromus venustus. Not a rare fish, but always a really, really good looking fish. I got these from local breeders, Tom and Debbie. If you guys are from St. Louis or in the area, you've probably heard of Tom and Debbie. You won't find a better basement breeder really anywhere. If you guys have not seen the video that I did of the walkthrough of all of their fish, make sure and check that out. I'll put a link in the description to that video. Uh, hopefully we can get that video to 100,000 views. You won't find a more diverse fish room in anyone's house <laughs> that I'm aware of. Uh, if you like it, they've got it. So make sure and check that out. Also in this tank, I've added 26 new albino dragon blood peacocks. Recently, I've become a sucker for the OBs and the albinos, so uh, decided to roll with it. Let's get a little closer. First, let's just look at the Venustis. Uh, seven of them. You're looking at inch and a half to two and a half inch. I think that's a for sure male there. And the others are down this direction. Either way, I made a trip to Tom and Debbie's fish room and you can't leave there without getting something. There's just too many good things to get. But the main new fish in this aquarium are the albino dragon bloods. I've got 26 of them. Uh, got them unsexed. I can see four or five, maybe even six for sure males. You can see there's one there. Uh, very, very active fish. Kind of all over the place. So I'll do my best to get you guys some good shots of them. I'm really hoping that the video of these does them justice. I don't think it will. I'm sure you can probably see the peach color, maybe a little bit of white, but the blue that is in these fish is, is really, really great in person. I'm not so sure it's going to show up on camera that well. The purpose of these fish is I plan to grow them out a bit. Uh, my goal is to have a breeding group of maybe 3 male, 10 to 12 female, ideally. And then that should give me some really good options as far as selling extra males. Uh, maybe even piecing together another breeding group just for resale. Either way, these fish are really bright, uh, really neat, something different. I do breed the albino fluorescents, and these aren't at all the same. The albino fluorescent are very bright as far as like a highlighter yellow color. Uh, these are very much more peach. So depending what you like, both of those types of fish are really cool as far as albinos go. 
I have added a few other fish to this 125 to go out that were actually born here. Uh, I handpicked a few of the OB Borlei that I wanted to add in here that I think are probably male. I think I added five or six of them. And also, they're around somewhere, um, I added four of my Sanachromus Fryeri that came from my wild group. If they'd come out, I would show you. There's one. That's a for sure male there at about two and a half inch. And then I've got what I think are three more females. Let's feed them.